Hi, I'm Dorina, and today I want to talk about how to shake it off before a gig. <laughs> Early in your career, when you are about to get on stage to do a performance, acting, singing, dancing, whatever it is, and you face those jittery nerves, you know, that make you feel sick or shake or have heart palpitations and go, ah! do this. I want to give you a few tips how to overcome that and how to shake it off before a gig. Being up on stage is one of the best feelings in the world. It's quite magical when you can really connect with people and you can only do that when you are fully yourself, fully relaxed and fully expressed. And with my three tips, you can be. There are many ways you can relax before a gig. One good way of doing it is to do something physical. That's where the shake it off comes into it. You can run on the spot, you can hit a punching bag, you can, you know, do a ha 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 like um, footballers do or whatever they do. Or you can just stand there and shake your whole body, you know, like that. This relaxes your body, it relaxes your mind, it gets blood flow through your system and hypes you up before you jump on stage and you go, right, I'm ready for you, here I am. Let me show you how to do that properly. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Relax your shoulders, relax your whole body, relax your jaw and literally just start shaking. <laughs> Don't lose your balance. <laughs> now gorgeous little Lauren didn't get it far wrong there. She relaxed her jaw, she relaxed her body, went with that wobble machine. But that is the secret to doing a good wobble in your own body without the machine. Another way to relax before a gig is to simply take a few moments to yourself, close your eyes and imagine yourself doing the gig and that it runs perfectly smoothly. It's that simple. Picture every detail that you can and imagine that it goes really, really well. The crowd go off, they love you, there is not a hitch with the musicians, there is not a hitch with the songs, you remember all your lines, you remember your parts. Technically it all goes well and if it doesn't go well you handle it. You can even imagine that there is a glitch like your mic doesn't work or you break a guitar string but how you just magically handle it. Do this for just a few minutes before you go on stage. In fact, do it for a few minutes every night for a week before you go on stage. And just watch how smoothly the gig will run. Another thing you can do is have a routine. I know this may sound a bit crazy, but because I was in an ABBA band, we wore loads of makeup. And it took us an hour to get ready before a show. There was one show where our guitarist didn't show up. He got stuck in some traffic. Can you believe it? We couldn't believe it. But what I realized at that gig was that in the routine of sitting at the mirrors and putting on makeup and putting on the costumes and the wig and that hour routine, I realized that had become so entrenched in me as to say you are now ready for a gig. And I was so fired up to do that gig and then our guitarist didn't show up. We had to cancel the show. We had very unhappy punters that night. But I did learn that routine is very, very important. So what can you do? What crazy little thing can you do before a show? There are good luck charms. There are things you can chant. There are things you can do. There are dances you can do. There are things you can sing or things you can play or as a group huddle, do something. But make it a routine, something that no one even has to know about, but something that you develop for yourself. That's a routine that makes you feel good about going up on stage and feel good about what you're about to do. So those again, shake it off, do something physical. Imagine yourself doing it beforehand, at least a week before 
the show. And develop a little routine before you go on stage to make yourself really comfortable. With these three tips, you'll be able to rock it out every time and really, really enjoy yourself. If you like what I say today, please subscribe or click like down below. I'll see you at the next one.